Hello everyone. Welcome back to the latest update from your hairy godmother. I am going to be sitting down, sipping my coffee and going through a compilation of all of my electrolysis progress since April 1st, 2021. And it is now February, 2023. But before I dive into that, I wanna do a little reintroduction because um, I have a lot of new subscribers. I just reached 1500 subscribers and I wanted to explain how I run this support channel. So I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is known as PCOS, and it causes hirsutism, which is excess body and facial hair because it affects the hormones in your body, it affects your insulin resistance, and all of the above contributes to more male uh, trait side effects. So I have had this condition since I was about 15 years old. I'm 35 now, and I essentially shaved my face every single day for 20 years until most recently, 2021, when I started getting electrolysis. Now, electrolysis and laser hair removal are not the same things, and I have a separate video on that if you want more information about that. Um, laser does present a risk of paradoxical hypertrichosis, which means all the hair comes back 10 times worse because it got stimulated instead of reduced. Also, talk about that in some of my previous videos. Um, I don't want to scare you away from getting it, but just please, please be aware because that's, that's what happened to me and that is what we're going to go over today is the progress I've now made now that I'm doing electrolysis instead. There's hundreds of thousands of women that have polycystic ovarian syndrome and regardless of what the cause is even if you don't have a hormonal condition there's tons of women and men that have excess hair that they want to make gone electrolysis is the only fda approved permanent hair removal solution i'm at 127 hours of electrolysis i have another appointment tomorrow and that's going to put me right at uh, just about 130 hours total since april 1st 2021. the progress has been immense it has been a whirlwind of a journey some days it's so painful i can't even bear it some days i lay there for four hours getting the electrolysis done and chatting away with my electrologist no problem i'm going to go through here and show you how i started um, and how I've progressed through and just kind of I'm going to be watching the video as you watch and explaining to you this whole entire process. So here you can see how severe it was. It got worse with time and I had to shave every single day. Um, the thickness just got out of control after I got laser hair removal. Unfortunately, it stimulated it, and this is what I lived with for 20 years. However, happy ending. Here you can see the before and after of when I started versus where I'm at now. You can see there's still a little bit left under my chin there on my neck but it's soon to be cleared out. Now here I am going into my first day. Okay, so here we are in the doctor's chair. <laughs> I was nervous and excited and... So this is the electrolysis pen. It, all, it looks just like a pen with a tiny needle and the needle is as thin as the hair follicle. You can see here, it sinks right in, zaps the hair with electricity and then it's extracted after it's dead. And you can see right there, the whole follicle comes out and it does not grow back. At this point, I'm probably about three hours into my four hour session. And it was awesome to see these results starting. The following week, I got a few more hours and now here I am at six total hours. 
but it's, it's still very heavy and it's so abundant that it causes a lot of swelling from the trauma. See, it goes in, zaps, and comes right out. Now here I am at nine hours. You could see more and more progress. The redness is there, but with proper skin care and healing ointment, it heals really, really well. Obviously the underside there had not yet gotten touched. A couple more weeks later, now I'm at 14 hours. You could see it's more cleared on that side. Keeps clearing more and more. Now I'm at 28 hours and I'm starting to get treated more, more on my cheeks and down under my chin. Sometimes I can just sit there and chat and other times as you can see, I just kind of have to focus and go into a different mental place <laughs> and do all I can to just kind of get through it. You can see it's starting to thin out a little bit more now. Always put healing ointment on as soon as I'm done with each session before I leave. There's my precious sexy husband right there. Okay, so now I am at about 48 or 50 hours in at this point. And you could see the regrowth there is so much less. And even more so here. I'm at 64 hours. Still have a lot under my chin, but look at the level that has cleared so far. It's really unreal looking back on this, how bad it was and how far I've come. If you can manage it, just keep going. It, it, it works. You just have to give it the proper time. You have to let it, you have to let all cycles of hair be treated over time. This could take a year, two years, three years. It just depends. See all those thick hairs and roots and follicles are killed and removed. They'll never come back. Now here I am at 70 hours. You can see the regrowth has thinned so much. It just keeps getting more clear and more clear as each of the cycles of hair are treated. Now here I am after my last session before I got married in May. And that is my wedding day. I felt like a queen. That was an unreal day. Now my bottom beard section has looks like it's regrown but it's just new phases new cycles of hair that hadn't yet gotten treated but here I am now today 127 hours and you can see all the how much more clear it is and those few hairs underneath on the bottom there will get cleared tomorrow and there is a handful of before and after pictures you can see now before I show you live up close to my face right now today, I'll just let you look at these. These are letting my face grow out five to seven days. You could see the difference of the growth. And now here I'll show you today, I haven't shaved my face in probably over two weeks. My mustache has not been treated much yet because the pain there is almost unbearable, but I will in time get it done. And then under here, all that is left, little bit of hairs. I have another two hour session tomorrow, like I said, and I think she's gonna be able to tackle that. The most important things that I can advise you if you are somebody that is about to start getting this done. Do your research before you do it. This isn't a, it's not like going to get your hair done when you go have an appointment and you come home and you're done and everything's all fixed up. This is not a one and done thing. You need to go repeatedly, weekly basis, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, whatever you can manage 
um, financially, schedule-wise. You have to continue going so that all of the cycles of hair can get treated. It's going to take a lot of patience. It took quite a while, probably f maybe 45 or 50 hours in until I was really like, okay, I'm really starting to see a difference. However, when I started, it was so thick and so heavy. Um, so it just took a while for me to start seeing a difference, even though I was going for four hour sessions at a time. So patience, patience, patience. Um, my electrologist told me that she has a couple clients that have just stopped and schedule or finances aside, that's one thing. Of course, if you have to stop because you can't make it happen, you can't make it happen. But to just stop because it's taking too long or you're just impatient, you have to let it have the time to do what it does so that you can reap the rewards. So if you've gone and you've stopped, just I encourage you to try again and just keep going as much as you can. And you will see the difference and the hair does not come back. It's, it's life changing. The other thing is don't just assume that cheaper is better. My electrolysis costs me $117 per hour. It's insanely expensive and I have yet to get insurance to cover it. If you are getting electrolysis, whether you are a woman trying to rid of your beard or if you're transitioning, whatever the situation is, and you have gotten insurance to cover it, um, please share your perspective or your story, success story on that because I'm, um, I, I wanna hear about it. I wanna know how it, how it worked out for you. Hydration also is key. As far as the pain level, staying hydrated, not going um, during certain parts of your menstrual cycle. If you are a female that is getting this done, there are different times during our cycle where it makes the pain a 10 and sometimes the pain is a 2. And you just have to kind of, you'll get to know how that feeling is based on your cycle the more you go month after month. Have a support group. Um, or even just have a supporter. My husband has been my rock and um, my sisters, my parents, my friends that know I'm going through this, especially now that I'm open about it. I no longer hide it. I no longer um, am debilitated by it as I continue to progress through it. Please reach out to me if you feel like you are alone because you are not. And also please know that it does not matter if you are black or white or green or anything in between, male, female, it, electrolysis works for everybody. You just have to give it the chance to work. You have to understand the process, remain patient, and it will absolutely change your life. Thank you so much for supporting me, all my new subscribers. I hope that even one of you, um, I know, I know even one of you at least, I know many of you that have said that you've started getting electrolysis because of seeing my journey. I'm here for you as you are for me, and we share each other's burdens and we will get through it together. If you have any questions or comments, I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment. I am a completely open book and you're awesome. Till my next video, your less hairy godmother, out.